Good morning everyone. This is Rishali. In our last sessions we discussed about types of SQL joins with examples. I have mentioned that particular video link and database management system playlist link in below description box. Please like and share these videos and also subscribe my YouTube channel so you will get the notification regarding my upcoming new videos. So in this session we will discuss about the practical demonstrations on SQL inner joins and outer joins. Let's see here. Here I have already created the two table. The first table is name is TE students. Okay. So just execute the first table for right. So see here this is our first table that is table name TE students. There are total four columns roll number name city and marks and there are total four entry in this students table right. The second table is TE course and uh, just execute this particular table. Right. See uh, uh, here, this is our second table TE course. There are total three columns, course ID, course name and roll number. And there are total four entries of the particular student. So we need to perform join operation on these two tables. First, why we perform join operation? If you want to perform communication between the two tables, or if you want to combine two tables. So for that purpose, we use SQL joins in database, right? So the first type of join is inner join. So we apply inner join on these two tables. Okay. So let's see the con concept of inner join first. See here. The first table is TE students and uh, second table is TE course. So when we perform inner join on these two table, they return the matching values in particular columns. Okay. See here. Roll number and roll number. These two columns are matching in between these two tables. And from that roll number column, here roll number 1 and roll number 2. And in the first table is also roll number 1 and roll number 2. Right. Means two values have matched in between these two tables. So inner join returns the matching values of particular columns. Right. This is the concept of inner join. So just look at here how to uh, actually implement inner joins here. So the first is you need to select the particular columns in both the tables that you want to display. Okay. So select our first table is T students dot. Suppose we want after combining we want to display the T students table. And the column is, first column is, wait a minute. Okay. The first column is name. Okay. Then T students dot. The second column is marks. Right. And in second table, the table name is T course. And from this table, we want to display suppose course ID. Okay. So course ID means after combining these two tables, these three columns have display. So from our first table name is T students. Okay, this is the first row select. Now you need to select from T students. Now we need to apply inner join. So just mention here inner join. Okay, and you need to join first table with second table. So mention the second table name that is T course, right? So after that on, so on, uh, after that on, you have to mention the matching columns in between the, those two tables. Okay. Suppose we take the, uh, from the first table that is uh, T students dot uh, and the particular column name is roll number here, right? Roll number equal to and in second table course T course dot roll number. So these two columns in between those tables have same right and at the end semicolon. So this is a syntax of inner join or any join. Okay. So first select the columns. This is our first step from Table 1, this is the second step. 
inner join second table name okay this is our third step and on after on you need to mention the particular matching constraint or matching condition so this is our inner join uh, syntax or inner join example so let's execute this uh, thing right see here it display those thing see as per our column see this is our table right in the first table and second table roll number 1 and 2 and here roll number 1 and 2 this uh, this queries or these rows have same values right and we need to display the column name marks and course id as per our syntax name marks and course id right so see here the name is neha and rahul marks is 20 and 30 and course id 1 and 2 this information we will display for those have matching roll numbers in both two tables right see here name marks and course id neha and rahul marks 20 and 30 course id 1 and 2 right so this is called as inner join inner join returns the matching values of the particular columns right and they return the details of that particular roll numbers now the next one is left join so see here the next one is left join now the syntax of this inner join and left join is almost same just uh, i just copy paste this code here okay and at the place of inner join you have to mention the left join okay remaining syntax or remaining code is same now first understand the concept of inner join left join okay see here just uh, focused here on the left join there are two tables first table t students and second table t course so when you perform left join on these two tables so at that time left join returns all the records of first table okay it highlighted by the yellow color all the records of the first table and matching records of the right table so this is called as left join so matching records means as per the roll number column here roll number 1 and 2 and in first table also roll number 1 and 2 right so these two roll numbers have match right so it return all the records of left table and matching records of right table this is called as left join see here same syntax is there select uh, you need to select the particular columns from both tables t students dot name t students dot marks column and t course dot course column course id column from first table t students you need to left join with second table t course and our condition is t students dot roll number equal to t course dot roll number means from this two tables you need to mention the matching columns here so just execute this query right see here it returns the all the records of left column see name and marks there are total four entries in first table so it returns all the results of the left table or the first table and in course id they return only matching roll numbers like 1 and 2 these two are the matching values right so they return only matching records and remaining data types or remaining here they mention the null values because those thing have not match with the left table so this is called as left join similarly the next one is right join right join okay so again same syntax is there mm, okay so at the place of left you have to mention right right so first we understand the concept of right join see here what exactly right join right join returns all the records of right tables and matching values of left tables okay and at the place of this remaining part they mention the null values so this is the concept of right join so see here so the same syntax is there when you execute this thing see they return all the values of right table course id is your right table so they return all the course ids 1 2 1 3 this total four course ids are there and from the left table they return only matching values means roll number 1 and roll number 2 they that only are matching values have there right so they return only those th details and remaining parts having null values so this is called as right join 
and in this way left join right join and inner join have perform see here in this table all the highlighted yellow color they display the return values means after applying inner join they display return that particular values only so in this way inner join left join right join have perform as per this particular syntax thank you keep learning